the Mir 100 is driving its route in Ingpar Community Center in Prand. It knows its way around the employees and elderly in the center. Well, it drives on a schedule, like a bus. It starts in one department, where it stops for 10 minutes, then continues to the next department. Then it drives down to the main entrance, where an employee takes the garbage from the robot and then throws it in the garbage disposal. For now, its only job is collecting garbage, but this is an important task and needs to be done regularly to avoid odor emissions from the diapers and it saves time. Well, we on the third floor are far away from the garbage disposal. If we had to go there twice a day, that would take quite some time. That is why it is so convenient that we can just dump the garbage here. Well, getting rid of the garbage faster helps prevent odor emissions and also improves our working environment. The employees don't have to dump the garbage at a specific place. Just leave it here with Roberta, who is right next to the garbage can. So, you can save time and money. The municipality will use the experience gained here to look into possible other uses for the robot in the municipality's community centers. Please move aside. It can transport many things and help with those tasks that don't require contact to the citizens, so that there is more time for us to spend with the citizens. Garbage is just one of many things. It could also transport laundry or the food and groceries we get delivered. Basically, everything that needs to be transported within the building could be considered. And I think the employees are in the best position to decide what makes most sense. Currently, we are only using it for garbage, but we are hoping for more, getting diapers, towels, or other things for the residents, for example. Or maybe also food if we get a bigger kitchen someday. It can save us a lot of walking. The Mir 100, or Roberta, what the robot is called here, has proved itself to be very user-friendly and cautious. There are no problems with the elderly or those with dementia. I'm not scared of it driving around there. It is very quiet and cautious, and we have actually paid great attention to this because we have many patients with dementia. We asked ourselves how these residents would react to the robot, but it is very cautious and it doesn't just cruise around. It drives carefully and slowly and also makes some sounds, so there is nothing to worry with it driving around here. Today, it's only moving garbage, but employees and managers see many other possibilities for the robot. The next care center that is specifically designed for the use of transport robots will have more possibilities and can switch the wagons, depending on what to transport. This even increases its potential. The possibilities with this robot are increasing day by day.